What's the trick? I wish I knew. I'm so done with thinking through all the things I could have been. And I know you wanted to. All it takes is that one look you do. And I run right back to you. Why do we need to eat? Do you know what happens with the food that we eat? Cross the line, and it's time to say a few. What's the point in saying that when you know how I'll react? You think you can just take it back, but shit just don't work like that. You're the drug that I As we learned on the previous lesson, our whole organism is composed by a huge amount of little livings called cells. Those cells, as all livings of the world, need something to keep alive. That something is called energy. But where do we take that energy from? In order to take that energy, we need the digestive system that help us break the food in very small pieces which go to the cells, giving them energy. Glands in your mouth start to pump out saliva. Once inside your mouth, chewing combines with the saliva to turn food into a mixture called bolus. Then, the food finds itself at a tube called esophagus. It reaches the stomach thanks to some muscular contractions. What's the trick? I wish I knew. I'm so done with thinking through all the things I could have been. And I know you wanted to. All it takes is that one look you do. And I run right back to you. You cross the line. And it's time to say F you. What's the point in saying that? When you know how I'll react. You think you can just take it back. But shit just don't work like that. The stomach walls bound the bolus and break it into small pieces. Later, some osses dissolve the food in order to take its proteins. While this is happening, the pancreas, the liver and the gallbladder are creating liquids that help taking the fats out. This process takes more or less three hours and when it finishes, the mixture is called chyme. Yes, I'm stuck with you, and that's that. Cause when it all falls down, then whatever. When it don't work out for the better. If it just ain't right, and it's time to say goodbye. When it all falls down, when it all falls down, I'll be fine. After being in the stomach, the chime moves into the small intestine. In the way, the liquids previously created by the pancreas, the liver and the gallbladder dissolve everything. The small intestine has little hairs called bile. Those absorb all the needed elements. Once absorbed, they are transferred into the blood to feed the body's organs. The remains of this process end up into the large intestine, also known as the colon. The fluids are drained out by the body, creating a soft mass called stool. The colon squeezes that product into the rectum, where nerves sense it expanding and tell the body when it is time to expel the waste. This is made through the anus. And just for you to know, this whole process lasts between 30 and 40 hours. 
Such a really long time, isn't it? 